Hey everybody, you are tuned in to the Freemat Podcast. I'm the one and only Matt Freemat, also known as the Mogadishu Matt, if you want to. We are Libertarian Roundtable Discussion. I'm usually joined by General Patrick Flynn. He's not here, so we kind of run off the cuff, run off my notes. I don't have articles this time. I, I, I've been meaning to do that, put some articles together. Maybe I'll have a, I'll have a discussion, I'll have my own comments. Commentary, inane commentary. Oh yeah. Um, more of a sad story. I had not caught up with this person as of lately. It's somebody I knew from from way back when, and it was kind of a kind of a sad sad state of commentary, kind of a stereotype to be honest with you. Um, a little background: um, a handful of guys I know they they kind of joke about the kind of women that they they don't want to run into or they don't want to have anything to do with. Uh, some of these guys are open to the idea of getting married, some are not, but they talk about having some type of meaningful relationship, meaningful run-ins with each other. And one of the stereotypes was um, women, college-educated women, that were like sociology majors that became like social workers. And it's weird because I ran into somebody like that. And it's somebody I, I knew for quite a long time. And they they have friends that are married. We're you know, we're we're older now, we're adults. Most of their friend most of her friends were married. They know a handful of people in between like their their group. Well, they know these people, they get together with them to go uh, either uh attend sporting events or uh, go to each other's house and watch like football games or something. And the weird thing is that this person had justified wasting their time with football, like or sports, just say sports. And, you know, it's kind of a waste of time, but the irony is with such a small group of friends, they are, kind of shortening her horizons and i think it was almost a, it was almost a stereotype at one time that as much as the guys that i know that mentioned about steering clear social workers and women that were dependent on the government for jobs which eh, there was a handful i knew but they weren't like animosity there i i, I wasn't going to uh throw throw sticks at them but this one person who kind of fit like that big that perfect storm, kind of like a devil's triangle, Bermuda triangle type thing. And she, I mean, the last time I checked, she was single. I'm not sure if she had a boyfriend. Pretty short social circle. Um, her people, mine and her age are, they have the ability to be picky is it was I'm saying, and a person with a level of discernment could eliminate her. There's certain things about her that don't make her the best choice, and I'm I'm not saying this person doesn't have medical problems or didn't have something you know, causing this. My sympathy if they have medical problems, but you're talking about putting your best foot forward, and this person fit this description and most guys i know you know they're not that big of the on that idea of being uh, social workers are probably not that big of a you know the, the pro-government element of it um uh, being a sociologist i've known like one cool sociologist other people were kind of weirdos and creeps and begging the government for money every five seconds i just found it ironic that this perfect storm of a person meeting the description of, you know, hey, you need to be on the lookout. And I, I have a level of sympathy for this person now. I'm not saying I'm, I'm floating their checks or anything, but what I knew people in social work, even ones with master's degrees versus just say, uh, 
uh, like an IT degree or they like a technical background, and they're and they have some mastery to it, they seem to do okay. But I just couldn't imagine being in this person's shoes, and it was almost you know I can show you I can read my notes here. It was the woman who could not cannot win. And I'm saying if she makes some dramatic changes in her life, she probably don't want to get out of social work. But she might find it rewarding, and people might like her doing it. You know, okay, whatever. But you look at getting to our age, and I'm not a spring chicken either, but you look at this perfect storm, and you're like, okay, you take her age, and you cut it in half, and it's it's, it's a junior college student two junior college students, or nearly that many. She's almost there. But you look at a small circle. You're talking about a person who's not interesting. You're talking about a person who it'd be really hard for this person to prove in a RPW way. You know, God bless the women of uh, our, uh, RP, uh, Red Pill Women and on Reddit, but some of the things they talked about being a high value person or attracting a high value person it'd be hard to sell anyone on that and it'd be hard to get past the looks but you'd have to be an absolute kick ass at you know these womanly type skills and i'm i'm way walking past sexual matters here you know ugly bumping or whatever you want to call it i'm just talking about okay Sell them on you're you're a woman and you're a high value woman. Like in if you can't take care of yourself, that's probably you can't prove that. Okay, you can't handle your medical problems, you can't handle that. You got friends who enable you to make bad decisions. You know, that's that's something you know you can't do. And I was like, you keep you keep going further and further down and I was like you're basically proving to somebody that you're not wanted or some other guy wouldn't want you and i'm sorry i'm not trying to be mean it's just it's that's why i said some those women cannot win and it's not that i'm trying to be ugly i'm a, a very loving person and sagas people are like you're kind of a they thought you were i was some raving psychopath or or some guy who uh somebody's like hey you look between a a retired professional wrestler and a, a serial killer. And I was like, I'm not, I'm actually a caring person. I just can't Mickey mouse with folks and not tell them the truth and say, Hey, this pity party is be, there's no pity party. I'm not giving one. I'm not holding one. There's no teacups with, uh, was that not periwinkle, but, uh, I'm trying to think of a orange Pico tea. So I'm not doing it. It's, it's not here. It's look. It's black coffee. It's it's ru. It's it's brutal. It's raw. You might have some grounds in there. It's hot. You know, no apologies. And it's just bad. Some some people can't win. Now you're going to ask me like, are you going to do some follow up for women who cannot win? Oh yeah, I've I've got at least one or two people I've known like that. And you know what? I'll hit you up with it anyway. Um, uh, thank you for stopping by, guys. Let me see. Do 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 do. I hit the notifications, the bell, ding, ding. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Subscribe. And then you have, uh, do, do, do. I think it's like over there. Whatever. Oh, uh, down below is even further down towards the crotch of the laptop is, uh, my website. It's free mat podcast. Uh, it's a WordPress thing. Just, just click on the link, whatever. Ooh, I got Twitter. You can check it that out. You got Gab. Uh, on there on occasion, got links, got articles you can read. Ooh, hate email, even further down. Get that hate email. Send me some hate email. If you don't like it, okay, whatever. Send me a hate email. Uh, if you have ideas, hit me with some ideas. If you say, hey, Matt, you need a new hat, okay, whatever. Whatever works, man. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. But, ooh, comments. Some of the uh, YouTube has been blocking these comments. Comment anyway. I hope it goes through. And you know what? I'm not even erasing them unless they're actual spam. But I'll leave them on there. Whatever happens works. I'm, I'm, I welcome you. I like a dialogue. I'm not like one of these triggered chaunties. So, please take care of yourself. I want you to be well.
Don't be somebody who cannot win. Try your best to win. If you're, if you're having problems, go get help. Get a coach. Go get, uh, oh, what do you call that? A counselor, a therapist, whatever. And it's your life. I'll see you in the rest of it.